Well, well, for me and Pimp C, it's this is a, it's a strange feeling because I never stopped being a fan. So like to this day, I'm still surprised that Snoop is actually my friend. That Scarface is my mentor. You know what I'm saying? That that E40 is like my homie. Like I go to his house. Like it's it's it it still blows my mind. Like I when me me and Snoop had an estate close to each other. Like I used to walk in Snoop's house and get something to eat and be like, all right, unk, and walk out. That shit was so fucking cool. And like Snoop got bodyguards like Obama had. Like and they all loved me, so it was cool. I didn't even have to ask. I just went through the motherfucker. Um, but it, it was funny because Pimp C initially didn't know. I don't even think he knew who Crooked Letters was. We just had the bread. So I, I don't even want to play it like, you know, he heard Crooked Letters and thought it was something dope. Nah, we, we had $10,000 at the time and we gave it to him and he rapped. But what was crazy, the, the most amazing thing about Pimp C, and I hope he doesn't mind, um, Pimp C is one of the smartest, uh, most caring dudes that you meet if he know you. But if he don't know you, he could give a fuck less. I mean, at all. And he would always tell me, like, Banner, you a good dude, but you can't let these motherfuckers know you. It's like, cause, and what he was saying, I actually agree with him. If people really know your heart, they'll try you. But, cause people don't know, just because you nice don't mean that you, you won't cut their throat. Or that you won't beat their face in. You feel me? And um, Pimp C was one of the, 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 if you don't mind me moving forward about our relationship, um, Pimp C was so amazing to me because he was the he was one of the few artists like I couldn't really talk to Scarface about what I was going through in Mississippi because he was from Houston. He was from a he was from a major city. Pimp C was one of the few artists who had made it to the level or higher than what I did and was from a smaller town. Like the hate and the pressure that you go through coming from a smaller town is different. It's like people feel like you're their only hope and that's not really your responsibility, but that pressure is on you, you know? And Pimp C told me one time, I never forget this. He was like, Banner, you smart. He said, you gotta give people time to catch up with you. He said, make a couple more songs that they can understand and take them slow. And he was right. Is that where Like a Pimp comes in? That no, 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 no. Like I told you, me, me and Pimp didn't really know each other till after Like a Pimp. As a matter of fact, um, I don't think Pimp even remembered like the, the Crooked Letter stuff. We never really, that never really came up. Um, what happened was, is when I, when we paid Jive to clear the sample for like a pimp, cause I just sampled it. Um, but I started thinking, man, like cause pimp was in jail. Pimp missed the whole, he went in jail before like a pimp came out. And by the time he got out of jail, the like a pimp, like we had moved on. It was like another album, maybe another two albums. And uh, cause I put my second album out really quick. Um, I thought in my head, like, man, I'm making all this money off this man's voice. Like, I better write him or something. So I wrote him in jail. We became really cool by sending letters to each other. And I don't think too many people wrote them. I, I don't know, but it, he made me feel like my letter meant something to him. So it, like, instead of sending him titties and naked women and stuff, I would take because Pimp C was on the ASRT and he worked with keyboards. He didn't, he didn't know how to use the drum machine. So I would take pictures, Polaroid pictures of the drum machine. And then if he put them side by side, it would make the whole drum machine. And I would show him what all the buttons meant, meant and, and how they worked. And because of like a pimp, I was traveling internationally. So I would take pictures of all of the places in the world because I was like, instead of sending the women like, he probably had been in on every place in, on, in and outside of a woman that I want to take his mind somewhere that he hasn't gone before and at least teach him something. And something that I was so honored when, if, I don't know if you saw that interview when Pimp got out of jail. Um, I think he named like seven people that he was grateful for. And uh, I, was, I was one of those people. So like that, that really meant a whole lot to me.